This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Paws of Fury. Hey Austin, who are we going to draw today? Hank. Yeah, Hank from the movie Paws of Fury. We love this movie. It's super funny. My favorite part was when Jimbo was training Hank to be a samurai. Yeah, and uh, he wasn't getting it or figuring it out very well. No. Yeah, he kept messing up. I also love that this movie is about cats being nice to dogs. They don't like dogs, but then they realize that Hank is there to help them. Yeah. Parents, the movie Paws of Fury is in theaters July 15th. Let's draw Hank. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your markers or something to draw with some paper and some it. Yeah, let's draw him. Okay. Let's first draw his nose and we're gonna draw it in the top right of our paper. And we're gonna draw the letter U. We're gonna draw it about this big. We'll come down and then back up. And then let's draw the top of his nose connecting over to the other side and let's color in the shape. That part we sped up, so remember to pause the video for extra time. Okay, now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two ovals right above his nose. So we're gonna draw one on the left. We're gonna draw it about this big. We're gonna curve around and then connect where we started, leave a little space, and then we're gonna draw the other eye that looks exactly the same, but on the other side, that's okay if they look a little different. Yeah. The most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Practice, yeah. Let's draw a pupil inside towards the bottom of each eye. Yes, now let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start here on his nose and we're gonna draw a curve coming under his nose. We're gonna curve around and then back up on the right side and we're gonna stop at the top of his nose in line with it. Now let's draw his mouth open. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down further and then back up. Let's draw his tongue. We're gonna draw another curve inside. Oh, it's really close to the other one. I'm going to color it in actually. And then we could add little teeth along the bottom of his mouth. Now let's draw his chin or his lip. We're going to draw another curve. I'm going to turn my paper sideways. It makes it a little easier. Then we're going to curve around and come up next to his cheek like this. And then we'll stop up here. Now let's start over here. We're going to draw a little cheek coming out next to his eye. And we're going to curve up over his head like this. We're going to go across his head, down, and then connect for his other cheek. <laughs> I love this shape of his head. We need to add eyebrows. When we color it in, it's going to look a lot more like Hank. Yeah. Because he has brown patches and his snout is a lighter color. Okay, now let's draw his ears. It doesn't really look like a dog yet. Yeah. Let's draw, let's draw a curve that comes down from the left side and also a curve that comes out to the right. Now let's draw the rest of his ear. We'll start on the outside edge. We're going to curve down to his chin and then we're going to curve back up right next to his cheek and connect into his head. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll curve down right next to his chin, his cheek, and we're gonna curve back up and then connect into his head. Now it's starting to look like Hank. Now let's draw his neck. We're gonna draw two curves coming down from his chin. Now let's draw his arm. We're gonna start here on his neck and we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out and we're gonna stop next right below his ear. We're kind of running out of room. We need, we need some room for his sword. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a line coming straight down. And then watch this diagonal line is going to come back up close to his shoulder. Then let's draw the rest of his clothes. We're going to draw his back. We're going to draw it coming down, curving like this. And we're going to come all the way down like this and even out for his leg that's down here at the bottom. He's in this really cool stance like he's going to swing his sword. Next, let's draw the other side of his body coming down this way. So it gets a little wider towards the bottom. I think he's a dachshund dog, so he's got this long body. And then let's draw his belt. We're going to draw two lines that come across his waist. And then let's draw a knot 
a circle in the middle, and then let's draw his belt tied off to the side. So we're going to draw two lines coming down like that. Then let's draw an upside down V. And we'll connect those two lines on each side together. Now let's draw the rest of his clothes. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming down this way for his knee. And then let's draw a line coming in. Then we're going to draw another upside down V that comes up inside the knot and back down. And then let's connect it over to this side. Now we're ready to draw the rest of his leg. Right here, we're going to draw another line that comes in. And look how it's getting thinner right here at the, at the bottom where his ankle is. And then let's draw his heel coming down further. And we're going to extend this line and curve around for the rest of his paw and connect it in. Then right here on his foot, let's draw a little curve for his paw. His toes are white. And then we could draw two curves for the toes on his paw. Then let's also draw a little curve for his pants. All right, now let's draw his other leg. We're going to draw it bending down this way. And then we're going to draw the other side of his leg coming down. And look how it gets closer together, just like we did over here for his ankle. And then let's draw his heel coming down further. And then we're going to draw the front of his paw curving around and down. And let's connect the bottom. Let's also add that little curve for the white patch on his paws. And we can also add a little toe line. And the last thing is to add the line for his pants. We did it. We finished drawing his legs. Now let's jump up here and finish his hands. We're going to draw a sideways U shape coming out, around, and then back in. Then let's draw his other sleeve coming down from that paw and then connecting into his body. And then we're going to draw the other paw right here below this one. Now let's draw the sword going through his paws. We're going to draw a curve coming down from the bottom paw. And we're going to imagine that going through the hands and coming out the top. So we're going to come straight up like this. And we're going to keep going up. Well, I'm going to start up here and then draw the line down. We can go up past his ears. He has a really long sword. Then let's draw another line right next to it to match. And we're going to draw it below his paws too. Down at the bottom, let's connect those two lines together. And we're also drawing the handle up here at the top. I don't think he knew which side to use on the sword. Yeah. It's upside down. Let's draw another line right above that one. And then connect those two lines together on the side. And then let's draw the handle above that. So we're going to draw two more lines above. And then let's connect those together. You could draw the handle a little taller too. Let's add an extra line for a little detail on the handle and also down at the bottom. Next, we can add more details to his clothes. We're going to add a line the end of his, each sleeve. We could add two little paw lines on his hand. And then let's also draw a curve coming down like this and connecting to his belt. And also draw another line right next to it. This is a little black stripe that goes through his costume. We're going to draw it down here and also on the other side of his leg. Awesome, we did it! We finished drawing Hank. He looks really cool, except we're not completely done. We still need 
color in. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. So we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Hank. He looks so much better colored in. I hope our friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. We used light brown for his face, the patches around his eyes, also his paws and his legs. We also used dark brown for his ears. Yeah, and yellow for his clothes and red for his sword. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing Hank. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I'm sure they turned out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to practice. Parents, remember the movie Pods of Fury is in theaters July 15th. We also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for sponsoring this video. We love you guys so much and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.